Well, it's been a hell of a week for Halo, and as we come to the end of the week, we wrap up with our usual dose of cannon fodder. Let's not waste time and dive in. This week opens with an interview with the one and only Frank O'Connor, and as I often say, it's a fantastic read. We get a little bit of his feelings on his recent novella, Halo Saints Testimony, but more on the nature of AI itself. Frankie truly has a passion for science and the avenues it may take, if some of his past interviews haven't made that abundantly clear. As the interview goes on, he shares some thoughts on Hunt the Truth, Seasons 1 and 2, and then closes out with what Grimm describes as a infuriatingly tantalizing tease. People who live in glassed houses shouldn't throw stones. Cryptic as ever, Frankie. Speaking of Hunt the Truth, the next section serves as an ad for the aforementioned audio drama, and will allow me to address a particular concern I'm sure many fans have, the release of episodes. Make no mistake, this week was a special case. Going forward, new episodes will release on Tuesdays only. While I don't necessarily mind the awesomeness and emotion from these first three episodes, one episode a week will definitely be welcomed back. Partially to give me a break, but also because I can focus on other content. Anyway, after a brief ad for Halo Escalation issue 22, Grimm answers a community question about red energy swords. Basically, are they canon? Indeed, they are. While sadly we don't get much in the way of details, Grimm does confirm that on rare occasion, certain Sunghealy groups or individuals will wield specifically crafted blades of varying color. The Red Swords are one example, and the Arbiter's Prophet's Bane is another. Well, that wraps up the main article and brings us to the new universe entries. This week we have former journalist Ben Giroux, another former journalist Petra Janoshek, and Spartan Holly Tanaka. We start out with Ben, though there really isn't much to add to what we already know. In 2552, Ben was editing war footage for Oni Section 2, secretly of course. Publicly, he was a consultant for AMG Transport Dynamics. Ben was present when the Covenant appeared in New Mombasa, and when the UNSC picked up vital intel about their mission, Ben was tasked with getting it out of the city. When he found that evac ships were filling up fast, he gave his place to a young girl, handing his laptop with the intel to her. Ben remained in the city, witnessing firsthand the destruction the Covenant brought, but also witnessing the heroism of the UNSC and the Master Chief John 117, side by side with fellow journalist Petra Janoshek. Thankfully, both were evacuated out of the city before it was glassed. Following the war, Ben took a break from his work with Oni until he was contacted by Commander Michael Sullivan to do a profile on the Master Chief. And we all know what happened from there. Next up is Petra Janoshek, and we actually get some new details on her. Petra was born on May 4th, 2511, in Serif on Lenape. In her youth, her family moved to Tricode Village on Mars, where she met and befriended the young Thomas Lasky. She also attended a cub reporting school, which obviously had something of an impact on her. Petra would go on to make a name for herself during the Covenant War, especially with her coverage of the Spartan Twos. Petra was present for both the Battle of New Mombasa and the Battle of Voy. While in the field, Petra managed to recover Cortana's distress signal, and following the end of the war, traveled to the colony of Forseti to study it and research some other work she had. In March of 2558, she helped her old friend, the now Captain Lasky, hunt down a traitor in the UNSC in exchange for an exclusive on the Master Chief and the New Phoenix incident. Later that year, she was caught up in Ben Jero's hunt for the truth about Oni and the Spartan 2 program. After Ben was arrested, she continued the hunt, but was ultimately captured too. We close out with Holly Tanaka. As I just did a full profile on her, I'll link to that instead of doing a summary here. Although, the article itself does shed some light on a few key details. Holly Tanaka was born on July 9th, 2530, making her the second youngest member of Osiris just after Vale. It also reveals that she enlisted with the Spartan 4 program in early 2557. And that wraps up this week's cannon fodder. On a separate note, and since so many people are asking, I'll tell you right now that I don't have a set date for my review of Halo Last Light, though I do intend to dedicate some serious time to it this Sunday. Book reviews take a while to make, and I want to thank you all for your patience and understanding. Well, that's all for today. This has been Halo Cannon, and until next time, keep shining bright. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.